battery configuration. We've got a brand new storage installed today. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, we've got a 3x6 Bravo error being displayed. That's battery communications error. We need to set up our battery, so to do that, we'll do a long hold on enter, release before the countdown completes, and enter in the password 123, 123, 12. Prior to doing any of this configuration, make sure that you download and install the latest firmware specifically for your battery. Once we get into the menus, we'll scroll down to communication, and then we'll scroll down again to RS485-1, which should be set to multi-device. Hit enter. And then we're going to scroll down and keep scrolling until we get down to battery. As you can see, we're set up for Tesla Powerwall and device ID is 20. We're going to change that because we've got an LG Chem today. So we'll scroll down to protocol. Tap enter. For protocol, we're going to switch that over to LG. And we want our device ID to be 15. Already set up here. But if you notice down to the very bottom, battery info is not populating any information. We expect that. What we'll do is we'll scroll down to battery info. And if our configuration and wiring is good to go, we'll see the battery serial number, model number, size, and firmware loaded here. So we'll go ahead and select it, and there we are. Serial number at the top of the screen, and of course the firmware version on the very bottom and right. Confirm everything checks out. We'll go ahead and back out of the menus here. As we back out, note that battery info is now populating information. And let's just confirm that that error is gone now. To do that, we'll just keep on hitting escape until we get all the way out of the menus. Bottom of our screen, no more error. We're all configured. Thanks for joining us in the SolarEdge Learning Lab.